Another time, uh, Mullah Nasruddin in the village, someone comes up to him. The man runs to Mullah Nasruddin. He says, Mullah, Mullah, I have something important to talk to you about. And so Mullah stops, what's going on? So the man says, I have a letter here from my, from my son in Mecca al mukarrama My son's gone there for like 10 years now and he's studying, so he sent a letter. So Mullah says, MashaAllah, excellent. So the man says, no, but it's in Arabic and I don't know how to read Arabic. I can't understand Arabic. So Mullah takes the letter, he looks at it and he gives it back to the man and he says that uh, I don't know Arabic myself. So the man is like all shocked. This is Mullah Nasruddin. He looks up and he looks down at Mullah. Mullah's got his long jubba on and he's got his turban and he's got his bisht and he's got his shawl. So the man looks at all of this and he says, what kind of a Mullah are you? I mean, you're dressing with this big turban, etc. And you don't even know Arabic. So what does Mullah Nasruddin do? As we said, don't judge a book by its cover. Mullah Nasruddin takes off the turban, puts it on the man's head and he says, now you read it. So the man says, well, what do you mean? So Mullah says, well, subhanAllah, doesn't mean if I have a big turban and I have a big jubba and bish, automatically I'd know Arabic. Here you got it on. Can you read Arabic? Do you know Arabic? The man says, no. He says, khalas, jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.